A Flower's Tales of a Thousand Years was sponsored by the Chinese Floral Art Foundation, USA Charter. Liu Fangyuan, the Chinese Garden of Huntington Library, celebrated the completion of the first phrase in March 2008. We invited 16 floral masters from Taiwan. They made about 35 arrangements in two days. It was the first time traditional Chinese floral arrangements were exhibited in the library. This was the largest arrangement made by four artists right next to the gate of Liu Fangyuan. In October 2020, 12 years later, we celebrate the completion of the entire garden. Due to the pandemic, COVID-19, foreign visitors were not allowed to travel, so only two local floral master made two small arrangements in the scholar studio, flowery brush library, Bi Hua Su Fang. Early morning on October 1st, we went to Flower Mart, fetched the flowers that won wilt under 100 degrees of the heat and can sustain for seven days. Then, starting on the second day, we construct the frame and insert all the greens and the branches. On the third, we put all the flowers in the containers and make sure they have enough water. The first day of the opening celebration reception was on the same day that late afternoon. Along with another large arrangement in the jar was also about six feet tall, which was located in the front of right-hand side of clear and transcendent Qing Yue Tai. We think our job were done. Actually, we had to check every morning for the entire week because the Chinese flower arrangements meant to be indoor in much cooler environment and they just like other fresh cutting flowers wilt after three days. Hello, my name is Rosa Z. Today I'm going to work on a very small arrangement and I'm using chrysanthemums growing in my garden. Ivy leaves is a common garden plant. I'm using a very small bow, a rice bow, size, pair of scissors, and a pin frog as usual. Start work with a long stand. We we'll strip off some leaves at the bottom. and work with this garden chrysanthemums. The stand is much softer than the market plants, so it's easy to shape them the way you like. Now we work with this short stand and strip off more leaves at the bottom and just test out to see how this gesture should be. Normally, we like to have the flower head looks up so we need to have the wire to work with to help that out. Cut off a section of wire lining up from the bottom up to right below the flower head and just gently wind it up and secure the top and gently bend the way you like. Now you see the flower head is looking upwards. Now I'm working with the ivy leaves. We cut the vine just right next to the large leaves and strip off the 
small leaves at the bottom. And this serves as pedestals right below the large head flowers. And the stem is so strong enough so we don't need to do anything. Trim off the leaves that are dangling on the container and work with the remainder. The vine is very pretty, but the, there's, the stand is not strong enough. So what we normally do is using the wire to help it out to strengthen the stand. You're lining up the same way from the bottom all the way about half length of the vine. Just gently twist it and cut it off right at about the midsection. Now you don't need the leaves at the bottom and close the wire at the end. The purpose is make sure the vine can be vertically insert in the container and this is just line it up behind the tall stand. Trim off more leaves. Just want to show gesture more. T clean off the dust on the leaves. This is a very elegant simple and easy arrangement. In the ancient time, the scholars often invited their friends to enjoy the teas and uh, reciting the poems. And we sometimes call the tea flower arrangement. I'm finished my demonstration. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you next time.